Hey guys, in this video we're going to be looking at a rather beautiful bacterial cell. If you want um, a picture of this to fill in, you can go to my website and get the free revision guide, it's in there for you. And don't worry if not all the things come up in your exam or in your lessons. Sometimes the examiners might try and stretch you that little bit more, so I've just included lots and lots of information here for you. Here is a rather beautiful picture of a bacterial cell. And you need to know what all the different parts are and what all of the different parts do. So starting in the middle, this blue squiggly stuff is the DNA. This is the bit that's really important um, for giving instructions, telling the cell what to do, um, it's all the genes that the cell needs, um, responsible for replication, responsible for what the cell actually does. These tiny little black dots here are the ribosomes. You'll find ribosomes in loads and loads of different cell types and they are responsible for taking the instructions from the DNA and turning it into proteins. So that's where loads and loads of stuff gets made. We have on the bottom here the flagella. Now it may not come as a surprise because its function is kind of like rather obvious when you think about it. It's a little bit like a sperm. It kind of swings, swings around in a propeller movement and it's responsible for the movement of the bacteria or the swimming of the bacteria or the swarming of the bacteria. It basically helps bacteria get around. It's like a little fish's tail used for swimming. The little furry bits on the outside, these are the pili and they are responsible for helping the bacteria kind of like stick to things. So it's responsible for attachment. So if you want your bacteria to, to stick to other cells or surfaces like your teeth um, or your intestines or rocks, then the pili um, is the bit that's actually responsible for doing that. In the middle, the yellow stuff, is the cytoplasm. And this is where the majority of the functions of the cell is actually carried out. Um, so that's where all the enzymes work, um, where most of the stuff that the cell actually does goes on. We have the cell membrane. This is responsible for letting stuff in and out of the cell. So anything that wants to get into the cell, anything that wants to get out of the cell, the cell membrane controls it all. And then we have the cell wall. This is responsible for keeping the um, shape of the cell in place, keeping um, the cell rather rigid and um, in a fixed shape. There we go guys, there is our rather beautiful bacterial cell.